Well, hello, you wonderful humans, and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Uh, we're actually still uh, traveling. Right now, we're we're in Carlsbad, inside of San Diego, and we got Isabubu here bringing us the good news. Uh, but I hope everybody's having a great day. Hopefully, the audio is uh, is good. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Angie, what's going on? My partner got Raymond as his first campsite visitor. Nice. Um, so, theoretically, we were supposed to have a plot open yesterday. And, um, I think it might be auto, audio, <laughs> audio filled. It, it might have auto filled, which is, um, which is odd. Also, I have a mirror right in front of me because we're in the hotel and I keep looking at myself and it's really weird. But anyways, let's go ahead and go, uh, let's go through this. He's got uh, no good news. Wait, there's a cooking show yesterday. Oh, yeah. Make that pea soup, girl. Make that pea soup. All right, so it doesn't look like we got any good news today. No campsite visitor. Mika, Raymond was at random Tom Nook. Moved him in. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. I forgot. <laughs> I completely forgot we're still decked out in pink. Oh, my God. How's the trip? It's going good. It's going good. I was going to stream yesterday, um, but we ended up sleeping in our car in the middle of Joshua Tree last night. Um, not last night, but the night before. Uh, so Ashley and Everly were able to sleep, um, but I, being the type of person that I am, woke up at 4 a.m. to photograph the Milky Way galaxy um, from Joshua Tree. So I have a video on that that I'm hoping will come out today. Uh, so this is going to be our one stream for for today. Look at all these pretty trees. I forgot I planted all these. Perry, Ray, and Abigail, thank you for the sassy lemons. Thank you so much. Let's see if we can get our uh, uh, money money rock for the day. Also, we got kicks here, man. Kicks living the dream. And Scott, the stream is just what I needed after testing positive. Oh my goodness. A couple days back and I've been uh, feeling pretty rough. Oh no. Scott, I hope you feel better. I wish you the best. Are you and Ashley and the kids today? We're doing good. Uh, Ashley and Everly are out uh, doing whatever they want to do while I'm streaming. Uh, I've got a a podcast that I'm doing with Dustin this afternoon, so we're not going to do our afternoon live stream. But I should have that uh, that video of us basically. So we drove from San Antonio to California in two days. Uh, we finished streaming that one night. Oh, is he playing? He's about to play the toot toot. Look at this. Come on, Klaus. Come on, baby. Uh, Kelly S. and Faithfully Soaring. Thank you for the super chats. How you both doing today? We got to get some nice new kicks. Oh, Terry Ray. Have a good day. The stream came at the right time. Ah, oh, Ryan, I hope you're doing well. Look at him just chilling with DJ Stringy Swag. It's so weird playing this from my uh, uh, from a laptop. Rather than, like, having my giant screen. It feels so weird right now. It feels so weird. Man, Klaus is just vibing. Just vibing. Oh my god, DJ CJ, thank you. A little gift for the best YouTuber ever. Keep up the great work. Thank you, DJ. And Belle and Smug Chipmunk, oh my god. Thank you for the sassy lemons. Been a fat minute since I could super chat, but thankfully it's payday today. Hope you're doing well, Bradley. Thank you, I hope you're doing well. We got Klaus vibing here. We got Wendy just chilling in the back. We're glad to have everybody here today. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. Um, might do a live stream tonight from up on top of a mountain uh, near Palomar Mountain, depending on uh, how things go this afternoon. And if I can get service up there. Uh, let's see if we can find our DIY for the day. But thank you all so much. And DJ CJ, thank you. Sweet baby beluga well. And Brooke, what's going on? You made it to a live? How are you doing today? Glad to see you back. One day we're going to be up in your neck of the woods. Neck of the world, I really should say. The tag withdrawal is real. Hey, I've been having withdrawal from you guys too. I was like, man, I need to stream yesterday, but I didn't sleep. Basically, I didn't sleep for two days. So we left San Antonio after um, at 6 p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time after our live stream on Tuesday, right? It was Tuesday? Yeah. And so we made it all the way down to Deming, 
uh, New Mexico that night. And that was about 4 a.m. Uh, so we hit that around 4 a.m. And of course, um, <laughs> Ashley was driving at that point and she was willing enough to drive us down into a Bortle Class 1 slash 2 zone. And that was the first time that I've ever seen the core of the Milky Way Nebula with the naked eye. Just one of the most awe-inspiring things that I've ever seen. Um, so we took a couple photos of that last night, or uh, the Tuesday night. Then we woke up four hours later <laughs> and drove uh, from Deming all the way down into Joshua Tree. And we stopped along the way a couple times. We got some jerky. We did the we did that live stream, which we tried to do. So you know what? I planned. I planned for that live stream. I was like, if we hit, if we can make it to Tucson uh, at this time, we'll be just outside of Tucson, and I'll have 5G all the way from Tucson to um, to Phoenix, and that'll be enough time to actually be able to live stream. I had it perfectly planned. We had we had 5G the whole time. Her phone was perfectly fine because she was uh, she had the hotspot. And what I didn't plan for was my phone being in the windshield uh, with the light hitting it made it overheat. And that's why the stream died out. <laughs> uh, traveling snack fun. Thank you, Lillian. We're going to be doing a lot more traveling here uh, in the next. Well, we'll probably be doing some, some, some stuff tonight and tomorrow. Lulu and Lillian, thank you so much. Hope your trip is going well. Thank you for sharing some of it with us. Thank you for uh, watching some of it. I got a video coming out later today. Well, it depends. It'll come out later today if I don't go crazy with the editing and I just release just like a vlog um, without crazy editing. If I want to do some crazy editing, then it probably won't be out today. But what do you all think? Would you rather have just a nice, maybe I'll just put some music in it and there won't be any like jump cuts or anything that I can release it today. Um, Jerome, thank you for the sassy lemon. I got to edit some of those photos too. I can give you all a preview. Y'all loyal, amazing humans that come to hang out for the live streams. Let me show you. Got some stuff. I edited one. Although, did I put it on Twitter? I put it on Twitter and uh, Instagram yesterday. Just one of them though. Hopping in to say hi. Uh, stuck in the five realms of Ikea hell. All for a bookshelf. Caitlin, no. Oh my god. Bill as always. Oh yeah. So I actually got a new I'm actually working on a new edit just before the stream started. So let's let's pull that up. Um so yeah. The story of this, and you'll have to watch the video for the rest of it, but I just before I took this photo, there are about fifty coyotes like right near where I went where I was. Um You'll see some of that in the video that we'll release later. Uh, window capture question mark yeah window capture no uh, i'll figure that out in a moment but yeah i hope everybody's having a great day thank you for coming to hang out i'm a little out of sorts just trying to figure out exactly what's going on here i gotta pause this in the background there we go there we go zaya sweet baby jesus I saw an unboxing of Animal Crossing Builder Bears, and they look cute in person, and there's rumors of more villagers being used. I imagine they're going to capitalize on that and get more villagers being used. Absolutely. Uh, currently on lunch break and was re-watching the old tag stream before this was live. Miss ya. Uh, here's for the travel snack funds. Thank you, Zaya. Thank you so much. Y'all are amazing. I definitely, the, the next time we travel, we're going to do make sure that our, uh, our travel live stream actually works well when we're on the road. And have a better audio, too. Glad you made it safe to Cali. If you took the new 2002 or the I-10 West in Phoenix, my hubby helped design sections of it. I'm so proud of him. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, and we did take the uh, I-10 West. That is pretty. That is really cool, actually. Give him a high five for me. And Angela, thank you for the super chat. Dublin Cozy Grove, and I'm in love with it. Nice. Yeah, so I wanted to record. I don't know if I'm going to get to record an episode of Cozy Grove today. I'm kind of so things aren't going exactly according to plan for the for the trip. I've not been able to make as much content as I had hoped to do. Um but I also didn't sleep nearly as much as I anticipated, even though I should have known that I was not going to get any sleep. But uh, I'm a glutton for punishment. So red heart pattern wall. Why do I have this in my inventory? Oh my god. I know why. 
because of Ashley. Jennifer, what's going on? Dipper, build a cow? No, Queen Boss, don't curse us. Yeah, th I, I imagine they'll do. If they do not do all the villagers, it's just a wasted opportunity. It doesn't make any sense not to. Tag sleeping? Never. Yeah, I literally slept for two hours yesterday. Because we I drove us into Joshua Tree. So get this. So we we went we we went to Joshua Tree just in the hopes of just finding a hotel that we could just crash for the night in. And um we got to Joshua Tree in almost every single well, every single place, but one was fully booked. So I was like, okay, well, we'll go to this place and uh we'll sleep here for the night and then I'll go do some astrophotography like super duper early in the morning. Well, we walked in and had to, like, basically about face. Like, this place didn't look like it had been cleaned in months. It wasn't even... They didn't even have anybody, like, working there. And I was like, nope, I'm not dying today. <laughs> so, uh, instead of that, we ended up... Um, uh, basically driving into... Like, continuing to drive another hour into the actual Joshua Tree National Park. And we found, like, one little open spot near this... Uh, at this campsite... And uh, we ended up sleeping there. So I got about two hours of sleep because I we found that spot around like 2 a.m. Eh, maybe like 1.30. Ashley and Everly passed out pretty much right away. And uh, I woke up at 4. And just the Milky Way galaxy was directly in my... Like I, I opened my eyes and the core of the Milky Way was right there. And I couldn't resist. I had to get up. Poor, poor Ashley had to deal with me, like, digging through all the stuff. She pretty much slept through all of it. I think I, like, woke her up maybe once or twice when the lights turned on accidentally. But, yeah, it was just me and the coyotes out there at 4 o'clock in the morning. I couldn't see anything. I just grabbed all my gear out of the car and set up in pitch black. <laughs> and was able to get some some actually surprisingly decent shots, even with the clouds coming in and everything. So I'm, I'm really excited. to. I shared one of the shots with the clouds, which looked pretty awesome. I've got to figure out how to do the mosaic and everything. Ooh, let's do mail time. You're still so pink. I am become pink, destroyer of worlds. We got a nook ink code thing, not a code. You know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, there was a co coyote right next to our car last night too. Bunger, what it do? Coyote Whisperer. Yeah, there'll be a clip. <gasps> Look at it, Klaus vibing again. Get it, Klaus. Come on, hop on the toot toot. Or the whoopee cushion. <laughs> Come on, baby. You know you want to. All right, so I think I got. Well, no, we need to. We need to find our money try our money rock, and then we need to also get our money tree for the or money rock. Money rock. This is the plot we've got open. Which is good. We verified that the plot is still open. Tag is the king of coyotes confirmed. No, I would... I'd, let's just be happy that I didn't die, pretty much. The neighbors... <laughs> Bummed, but I'm heading to my vaccine shot in Seattle. I hate driving in Seattle. Oh, no. Winry. Wish you the best. There's our money tree for the day. We still have to find our money rock, but we'll do that. We'll do that here in a few minutes. Ah! Oh no! What happened? Can I bury bells without having the shovel? Because I can just like... Yeah, no, it's not going to let me do it. Uh, Holly and Cynthia, I hope you both have a wonderful day. This is the one that got you on Animal Crossing or never found your channel. Oh my god. Cynthia and Holly. Holly, thank you for getting uh, Cynthia into some Animal Crossing. Best game ever. I hear KK Bubblegum. Where is it coming from? I don't actually have a headset now. <gasps> Burn it to the ground. Oh my god. Got my sign on bonus and thought I would share a bit. Oh my god, Tatina, hell yeah. Oh my god, thank you so much. Thank you. And congratulations. Super happy for you. Amazing. And Celia Brooke, thank you for becoming a member again. Welcome back to the community. Welcome back. And Ellie Loves, thank you for the sassy lemon. Don't you laugh at KK Bubblegum. 
freaking I was at Dustin's house last night and he turns on like this uh like Animal Crossing remix and the first song he plays is like a remix version of KK Bubblegum. There's no game audio? There's game audio. If there isn't, then I have no way to do it because it says there is on my side. Uh <laughs> It's probably just really quiet. Just very quiet? Yeah, no, no, it's there. I can turn it up a little bit. My voice might... Oh, you know why? It's because my voice is so much louder than typical. Let's do that. I'm still adjusting audio levels. This is a, this is a new laptop that I got for traveling and haven't gotten to fully fix everything yet. That should be a little bit better. Just a little bit, you know? Elizabeth, some funds for fun fuel or whatever you guys fancy. Uh, enjoy your family and nerdy time, as you call it. Keep traveling safely. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, I'm so excited about some of the stuff we're going to be doing. Uh, so tonight, I'm going to take the Stalina up to the top of the mountain near Palomar. And um, I'm going to do... Basically, what we're going to do is I brought two telescopes with me. I brought the Stalina, and I brought like the the original setup for the that we had with our telescope. And it's going to be me and Everly. And we're going to see if Everly... Basically, it's going to be seven-year-old versus ultra nerd and see who gets the better photos. Spoiler alert. All Everly has to do is hit a button. <laughs> and she can look at whatever she wants in the sky. Pretty amazing. So I'm excited to show that off. Uh, can I afford a membership? Probs not. Am I going to do it? Heck yeah. I restarted my island because of you and fell back in love with the game again. Celia. I'm glad you've fallen back in love with the game. You know, sometimes you just gotta burn everything to the ground to, uh, to start anew, you know? Celia, thank you so much for being part of the community. Welcome. I hope it is worth it. And sorry to everybody for not doing a game night last night. Uh, but we'll probably do... If we if we do anything, we'll probably do a member stream on top of the mountain tonight and uh, see what, uh, see what we can do. But thank you, everybody, for, for coming to hang out and uh, dealing with me while I'm trying to, to work and travel all at the same time. It's weird. It's weird. But you know what? I'm really liking the idea of being able to, to do this and and then share the things that, that we want to do with everybody else as well and get to play games along the way. I just got to get better at cinematography and editing. I'm bad at both. I'm so bad at both. All right, let's finally go to our first Nook Mile Island. I see you, Ashley. What are you doing? What you doing out there? You missed KK Bubblegum? Oh, I didn't miss it. I didn't miss it at all. She's going to start blasting it in the car. I know it. Jackie Martin spent two days in the hospital for a kidney infection. Oh, my goodness. Everything's okay, and baby is okay, but hopefully I get to go home today. Thanks for the good vibes. Cynthia. Oh, my goodness. I wish you a quick, quick recovery. That's a nightmare. I wish you the best. Oh my goodness. And uh, Elizabeth, thank you so, so much again. Oh my goodness. And also, to anybody who joined that, um, that live stream we did on Clear Skies Network last night, thank you to everybody who came out to hang out with that. Um, that was just really inspiring. After after we ended that stream, I was... Like, basically, at that point, I'd slept maybe five hours in the past three days. Because um, I, I literally flew back, flew back from San Diego. I live-streamed. Uh, we just did so much. So quick. <laughs> oh, my God. Then we left and drove down to California. And then we get we hung out with Dustin for a little bit. I dropped them off at the hotel and then went and did that podcast or uh, that live stream last night for Clear Skies Network. But it was so inspiring to hear some of their stories. Look at that doggo! Look at that doggo. The kid and I are hanging out with you playing some Animal Crossing as well. Hope the rest of your trip is awesome. Thank you, Miss D. And I hope you all are having a great day playing some Animal Crossing. All right, so y'all want a preview of the uh, of the shot that I took with the with the coyotes last night? I'm just waiting to eat my face. I think I can bring up a preview of it. Let's see if I can let's see if I can manage to do, do this right. Uh, properties. I'll just bring up Adobe Premiere Pro. No, that's the wrong one. 
<laughs> oh god. Why is Photoshop not an option? Excuse me. Uh, okay. Never mind. Photoshop's not an option. I could save it. I'll do that. File. Save as. I got you. Desktop. Name it all sorts of letters. Perfect. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. This laptop's doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Celeste will approve. <laughs> Open that bad boy up. There we go. Alright, y'all ready? This was one of the first shots uh, that I took of the Milky Way course. So this is the second time, second attempt at photographing the Milky Way core. Uh, the first night, I didn't get the tracking right on the stars, so they were all kind of blurry. Uh, but this one is from Joshua Tree. Um, and what's crazy, you see what looks like a sunrise down on the bottom right corner? It's so dark where we were that that is actually light pollution from the town 30 miles away. It's not a sunrise. That is actually the light from the town. Uh, and that you can see how it kind of makes the, the tail end of the Milky Way kind of disappear into it. And then you start seeing where the, the dark side is. My kids and husband are loving the videos. I'm so glad. Um, you, uh, so glad through these times. Thank you, Shelly. I wish you and yours the very best. Oh. Give the kiddos some high fives. Some tasty snacks. And thank you so much for the support. Oh, look at that dragonfly. We can give that to Blathers. Have I given Blathers a dragonfly yet? I don't think I have. Going to miss living on the side of the mountain. It's so dark at night. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, being out here and, and seeing the, the Milky Way like this for the first time. It's really, really, really making me want to live. Um, <laughs> not only down here somewhere, but in a in a much darker area. Like, we're Border Class 8 slash 9 where we're now, which is not... Like, I've been getting some pretty decent photos uh, with my equipment for, for what our light pollution is. But the level of stuff that we could do if we lived in an area that doesn't have as much light pollution or is, allows me to be able to travel to places easier... Um, would be just amazing. I <laughs> actually love seeing you and Ashley's faces for the first time. Love the stream you did in the car. I, I had a lot of fun with that. That was really enjoyable. I was super sad that the phone overheated. That looked good. Oh, yeah. No, that, that looked great. Uh, there's still definitely some things that I need to fix with it, but I mean, I just can't do anything like that from where I live in, um, in San Antonio. This is why I love living in the middle of the National Forest in Idaho. I bet that is amazing. There we go. Loading, loading, loading. On YouTube, really? Trying to go back. I have one screen to do all of this compared to the three screens that I would typically be using uh, at home. Uh, so, Misty, uh, thank you for the super chat. Thank you very much. Oh, my God. We got Diana again. And then Lulu. Thank you for sharing that amazing live stream last night. So cool. I was going to run, go run an observatory in a castle now, right? That is amazing. I, and having that as your introductory to to astrophotography is just insane. And then the the the, the woman that lives in England who's just going out all by her lonesome and trying to find these dark sites to be able to photograph stuff. Like being an astrophotographer in England is uh, is, 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 is a nightmare. Serenza, how are you doing? Thanks for the early stream. I live in France, and it's one of the first times I get to watch a live stream. Wish you well. Oh my goodness, Serenza. Glad to have you with us today. Welcome officially to the community. Hope you're having a great day. 
Good old ground. Awesome. There are very, very few dark sites. I checked. Oh, bunger. Well, the travel and snack fun. Thanks for all the entertainment. Thank you, MR. Thank you very much. All the snacks, all the jerky. One of the best parts about traveling from San Antonio to California is all the crazy jerky places that you pass along the um, along the way in the middle of the desert. Oh, nice, Midnight Gamer. That's awesome. I love San Antonio. Absolutely love it. Uh, do we need more tickets? Yeah, we gotta go grab some more. Let's go do that. Am I allowed to change my outfit back yet? I mean, it's been like a week. Am I, am I allowed to be back to my normal self yet? Ashley's probably watching in the car somewhere like, if you change your outfit, I'll kill you. <laughs> we got We got a couple for no, a couple for yes. Also tag turn left in 300 feet. Bungie, you made us drive down some crazy dirt road yesterday. Yes, but keep some pink. I mean, I'll keep all the stuff she designed for sure. I mean, she designed it. She worked hard on it. Oh, nice, Michaela. And I, I love San Antonio. I um, I don't know what we're going to do yet. I, I really want to be in an area where... We can get some of the stuff because there's so much types of content that I want to do. But the problem is it takes so long to get to that to, to those areas that um, that is really hard to, to take the time off and actually go do it. Especially because I really want to start getting into more of the Astro Oh, look at that frisky face. <laughs> oh, no, Tag. What did you do? I need my fish nets back too, right? Like, what is this? I need my fish nets. Work it, baby. Work it. Yeah. Now we're cooking. We don't even have a monocle. What's going on here? Uh, what was the stream from last night? So, uh, me and Dustin hosted a stream for women in astronomy last night. It's uh, the Stella community. And uh, it's a community to help get, um, just to to raise a uh, raise awareness and help women get into astrophotography or astronomy, and um, because it's not all, it's already like an extremely difficult process to get into, and um, like hearing them talk about it and how they all like get together and do uh, like amazing things and help each other out, like they've got such an amazing community. And I want to talk to them about. I know we've got a lot of people in our community that are also getting into astrophotography. And um, so I'm going to reach out to them and see if we can do something together to help out with that as well. Because I know we have a lot of people that are wanting to get into it. And uh, I definitely, definitely am looking forward to doing a lot more stuff with it very, very soon. There we go. We got our crazy eyes back. Perfect. I'm also working on doing a lot more stuff for very, very, very entry-level astrophotography. I was actually thinking tonight, where's my mustache? I was thinking of going out and getting, like, the cheapest camera I could find and, like, a tripod and seeing what I could do with, um, with just getting into some astrophotography. Because you could do really amazing, like, Milky Way photography for, like, a couple hundred dollars. You could probably even do it with your phone. I'm sure there's a way. Where's my mustache? Did she... Th oh, there it is. I was like, did she throw my mustache away? Look how excited my character was to have the mustache back. <laughs> Grab some of them bad boys. Found ourselves a chunky baby. Or Raymond. If we find Raymond, I'm going to do a giveaway for Raymond. Um, if we find a chunk, we're taking it. Your mustache was in your pockets tag. It's the best place to keep your mustache. Is that a mustache in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? If you have the Pixel 4, you can do some pretty awesome photography. Ooh, 
Very exciting. I got some real decent Aurora Borealis images on ice. So I saw that bungalist. I saw you posted them in the Discord. I gotta get a lot more active in the in the astro part of the Discord as well. I um I used to be so active in Discord, uh, but then it was taking up so much time that I was like not doing other things that I needed to do. But I gotta find like a happy medium because I really do miss interacting with people in Discord and stuff like that, and and looking at all the amazing things that you guys do, like whether it's photography or artwork or um just gifts. <laughs> <laughs> memes come out of lurking to say sending pietro vibes now back to lurking oh my god steph how rude just as we're talking to orville i swear to god if you gave orville oh orville i swear to god if you take us to pietro i'm done i'm gonna throw my laptop out this window I'm trying to be a lot quieter than usual because I don't have any soundproofing. I don't have the echo is in here, but hopefully the audio quality is good. J.O., what's going on? Oh, we got Money Rock Island. Sweet. Steph, look, you're bringing us the good luck. And... <laughs> oh, I can't yell like I typically would because we're in a hotel. But just know that I'm screaming inside. Oh, so oh, very loudly. With much hatred in my heart. Some would say the most amount of hatred that you could have for her. She's not, she's not Stu though. Stu is the worst one. Stu is the absolute worst. I don't have a shovel. I don't have a shovel. I should scream. There's like people like right outside my window. There's people down, down below me. The, they would probably think I just murdered somebody up here. When you, really, when you think about it. So I should probably not yell. <laughs> I need to get like up on top of a mountain so I can yell as much as I want. She's a chonk though? I mean, she is a chonk. I mean, technically Raymond's got a... Uh... Raymond's not a chonk. But the love for Raymond. Keep the rage inside. <laughs> no, that's not healthy. <laughs> You're being murdered. Eat. Yell with the coyotes. I should show that clip of the coyotes. I'm gonna make y'all wait until the video later. So yeah, I will be releasing the 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 travel video where I need to get much better at uh at recording that kind of stuff. So it, the first one might not be the best one ever, but um, I will release today. Thus traveling down through Phoenix. And showing off some of the astro photos and just regular photos in general that we've taken along our trip so far. Scream into the bottle, it works in cartoons. <laughs> Boom. You got Raymond today? Nice, Dave. Please open the message bottles. Never. There are eight international dark sky locations here in Colorado. You should come visit on your way back to Texas. Uh, so we're, we we need to be back in Texas ten days from when we left on Wednesday. On Tuesday, we have ten days, so that's next Thursday, right? Next Thursday, we need to be back. And we found this one dark site in the middle of nowhere in Arizona. There's one There's one gas station there, and there's this little blue dot, and then literally everything around that is Bortle Class 1. And Ashley wants to stop there on the way back. I need to go to... We're going to plan a trip to, to Utah, Colorado, absolutely. And then one of these days, I want to travel somewhere so we can see the Aurora Borealis, because I've never seen that. And I learned about Steve's last night, which I had no idea was a thing. That happens in areas where you have the Aurora Borealis. So I want to see a Steve. <laughs> Steve's? Yeah, I can't remember what the... That's actually like what the acronym for what it's called. <laughs> it just translated. <laughs> it ends up being Steve. A Steve? Yeah, so a Steve. I was like, they were talking about Steve's last night. I was like, what in God's name is a Steve? A Steve is beautiful. 
is what it is. It's basically this uh, this event that happens in areas where you have the Aurora Borealis, but a lot of people don't know about them because they happen. So when you're when you're looking for the the Northern Lights, you're looking you know north, northwest, northeast. Uh, but Steve's happen in the south. <laughs> Um, so if you if you turn around when you're looking at the Aurora Borealis, there's a solid chance you're going to see a Steve back there, which sounds super creepy <laughs> when you say it like that. Uh, let me see if I can pull up a photo of a Steve. This is actually one of the one of the women we were with the po uh, in the podcast with last night. Let me see if I can pull up one of her images. I got to remember what it is. It's on Instagram. Um, her stuff is so inspiring. The, when, when I saw that, is this was oh, I don't have Instagram on this laptop. Can somebody pull up a, a link to a Steve and I'll share it in chat? <laughs> um, but no, just um, her work is just so 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 inspiring, and that's kind of like the stuff that I'm working on doing while we're traveling. And it's just it's just so beautiful. You should do a ten ticket challenge. I probably should really. Uh, so I should open up this message bottle to see what we got. What we got? This is from Sylvia. The, ooh, the hyacinth lamp. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, fossil door plate. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Poor Steve's everywhere. If there's anyone watching this that's a Steve, they're going to be so confused. You should do a random number generator challenge. How, what would I do for that, though, Becky? Oh, really, uh, Mariana? I've never seen it. There's so many things that I haven't seen. I mean, so this is my first vacation. So I was thinking about it last night. I said 10 years, but the last time I actually went on vacation, like, took more... Not only vacation, but took more than two days off in a row. Well, the last time I did that was 17 years old, and I'm turning 32 next month. And more often than that, since I was like 17, I really haven't taken more than one day off since I was 17. I was thinking about that earlier, and it's just there's so many things that I haven't seen, haven't gotten to do. And I'd love to actually be able to share that with everybody. I'm tag if you're talking to us. You are not actually on vacation. Hey, y'all are my family too. I can't take a family vacation and just ignore my family. That would be wrong. Uh, let's see. Wilbur, where'd we go? My boyfriend said if you add a rest and spaghetti never forgetty hoodie to your merch, you'll be so happy. You know, I need to actually make some merch with this with like the sayings that we have around the channel. Absolutely. Absolutely. We got Audie again. She's not a chonk though. We've had Audie so many times. I wanna go photograph a Steve. But yeah, I mean like we have the ability to like to actually like take like be able to stream anywhere and being able to like share the things that I love with the community like that's something that I never thought I would be able to do like on YouTube you know it was always like you got to do gaming and nothing else but y'all have been so amazingly supportive like I would have never even gotten into astrophotography without all of you like y'all pushed me to to really really get into it and allow me to actually like dedicate the time to doing that which I've you know the majority of my life has always been, you know, work. <laughs> work, 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 work. But, um, yeah. Y'all are amazing. <laughs> Wilbur? Could you take me somewhere amazing, please? We need the chonk. The chonky chonk badonka donks. Are we getting the feels again? Dorita, no! I already went on a feels trip this morning. No more feels trips. We're getting a chonk is what we're doing. 
Uh, what does Steve stand for? <laughs> so it's uh, super awesome electronic. So hold on, let me let me find it because now it's gonna drive me insane. Uh, what is a Steve? Not Steve door. Stupid autocorrect. What is a Steve? A strong thermal emission velocity enhancement. It's an at it's an atmospheric optical phenomena that appears as a purple and green ribbon in the sky. Well, let me, uh, this is a Steve. Let me save this image from my desktop. They happen in areas where you will see the Northern Lights. Once you see the image, you'll be like, oh yeah, I know what a Steve is. I've seen pictures of Steve's my whole life. Boom, that's a Steve right there. And look at that shot of the Milky Way there. I need a su I need to go buy today a super wide angle lens. I don't know if I can find any cheap ones that work for my camera, but if I can find one on like uh, Craigslist or something for like super duper cheap, I will go get one and do some crazy wide angle stuff. Like always has the best feels trips that we love to take. <laughs> I'm sorry we didn't s we didn't send out the permission slips for the feels trip today, but the feels on the bus go round and round. Oh, nice, Beanie Boo. What is your camera? I have a... I have a Sony A... So, so this trip has been a nightmare. <laughs> I took a... So the camera that we use for vlogging as well as photos... So everything has been messed up so far because we kind of rushed it. Uh, the camera that I use right now is a Sony A7R3. But then the audio jack on that broke. So I have have to record everything on my phone... Uh, with horrible audio. So if y'all watch the video tonight, the audio is not going to be great because I'm having to use my phone rather than the camera that we're supposed to be using for vlogs. Um, the only way I can fix that at this point, I bought it, and then I bought a microphone for the phone, which it broke. <laughs> oh, but you know what? It wouldn't be a, a tag stream or a tag road trip or anything without it all breaking. Broken on 14 millimeter f2.8, super cheap. Yeah, I, I wonder if I can get one on Amazon and send it to Dustin's. Excuse me. Where, oh, where is my villager? Where's that chunky butt at? Oh my god, it's a duck. Sending you all the chunk vibes. That duck was blending into the trees. Like, you can't see me. He's like a dinosaur. If you don't move, you can't see. <laughs> Laura sending all the chunky vibes. Thank you, Laura. Thank you. It was Molly. Good old Molly. Shouldn't say that too much or YouTube will think we're talking about something else. Uh, open. You know, Rokonon stuff is like super cheap, but so good. Like the, the, the main issue with Rokinon products or something, or um, there's another one too that's really good. The glass in them are amazing. But the problems is their autofocus systems are always terrible. But when you're doing landscape photography or astrophotography, you really can't get any better than those cheap uh, Chinese lenses because the glass on, on, on those products are so, so, so good. Uh, but they're just autofocus systems and, and stuff like that. Like, and they have some of the best, like, bokeh that you can get for the amount of, like, even for, like, ten times the amount of money. Uh, but since you're doing all the focusing yourself, so if, if there's any aspiring astrophotographers and you have a DSLR and you want to know, like, what kind of lens you, to get before you upgrade to telescopes and stuff like that, broken on stuff, because you are you got to autofocus everything anyways. And they're like a fraction of the price of name brand stuff. And the glass is just as good. Uh, sending chunk vibes as well. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you. When did I start playing Animal Crossing? About two minutes after it released. Not me about to become a member because I need more sassy lemon talking chunks. All the chunk chunks, Nitro. All the chunks. And... We have, like, the best member community ever. Like, everybody's so supportive of each other, and, um... So, just absolutely amazing humans. And we have members-only live streams that we do on Thursdays. We have, obviously, the chat that uh, gets highlighted and stuff like that, which allows me to easily recognize... I try and recognize as many people as possible, whether you're members or not. Like, Becky. Becky's here. 
pretty much every stream. We've got so many people in chat here that are every day. Sending Chonky Chonk vibes. Thank you, Jarena. Clown, wait, Clown Chonk vibes. Jarena, you're going to make me yell and you're going to make me make people around me think that I'm some kind of angry dude like yelling at his wife or something. Oh, Jarena, we're going to have some words. Quiet words. Pop tart. <laughs> I need some pop tarts in my life. Uh, Mary, thank you for becoming a member. Welcome to the community. And Becky, thank you for the sassy lemon. <laughs> oh, thank you, Emily. I hope you have a wonderful day, too. Okay. Wilbur, come on. Show us some love, man. You dirty little bird. Come on. Get happy. You want to do a little dance? Take a picture? Selfie, baby. Selfie. Work it, bird. Come on. Whoa. Stop ignoring me. Love me, you dirty little dodo. You know, fine. I didn't want to love you anyway. Super chunky Pietro vibes. <gasps> rude. Rude, rude, rude. What is a good starter DSLR? Um, So uh, price point is going to be key. That... Um, so if you really just want to start like any of the Canon Rebel, like the T3, T4, T7, I think it's like T7 now. Look at that koala bear. He's pretty adorable. Um, so any of those will be great and you can start using just any lens. So you can really get into astrophotography with uh, a camera and a tripod. Yeah, you're not going to get like an A-pod. Um, and you might not get the same quality as what you see on like Instagram and stuff, but that'll get you into it. And you can then get like a like a 400 millimeter uh, lens, like a kit lens or something like that, or 200 to 400 millimeters. And uh, you can start doing really short exposures on a tripod. Then you can upgrade to what I use on this trip right now, which is the uh, the Star Adventurer Pro 2, which is I think four or five hundred dollars. And you pair that with like a two or three hundred dollar camera and lens, and you got yourself pretty solid so I'll, you just need the camera first then you can get the tracker and then you can literally use that for everything and all you need is like a short little like if you want to get a better glass then you can just buy a, a better lens or you can get like a the radian raptor which is like a thousand bucks but it's one of the best wide angle astrophotography lenses you can buy um, but you can start off super duper cheap and i'm gonna start making some videos on that because i do have the uh the, the astro channel that we started and I'm really going to be pushing to do a lot more of that. I'm actually might go buy a cheap setup now because I'm, I'm literally in California right next to OPT. I could just go buy it and just ask Dustin to pick it up for me. And we can start doing some really entry level stuff. What you talking about, Bunger? You, you ain't no butter and no crumpets out there. Natalie, thank you for the sassy lemon. And uh, Noka, how are you doing? Rold is the best villager, Meow. Aside from Marina, Rold is a national treasure. Although he is a jock. So he loses some points about that. Starting an AstroTube YouTube? Yeah, I've only released two videos on there. Because when I started the channel, I haven't I had clouds for like three or four months, so I haven't really been able to do any astrophotography in so long. <gasps> it's Judy with the big booty! Oh my god! She's not she's got a big old chonky head, but is she chonky? She's a bear. Judy with the big old booty. We've had Judy so many times. Should we pick Judy up again? We've had her on every single island we've ever made in this game. Happy to spend part of my birthday here with you, Tech. Oh, Dash, happy birthday. Happy birthday. She's the thin bear. She got that badonka donk, though. Nope, leave her. You're All right. We have had her on every single island. We probably should not pick her up today. She's not thick enough. <laughs> we got to feed her some donuts. I have Judy on my island. She's so cute. I got my COVID shot today. Ooh, April. I hope you're feeling well. Cubs are chonk. Let me see. Let me see what kind of DIY bottle we got here. I gotta think on this. I really want to take her, but 
we can find a chonkier and we can also find a villager that we haven't taken before, you know? I feel like we gotta show love to some of the villagers we haven't grabbed previously. Continue the tradition. He posted some sassy lemon designs in the Discord. Oh, Gabby, I'll have to pull those up. That's exciting. It's very exciting. Also, you don't know how I said I forgot my verb bars the other day? I found them. I did not forget them. <laughs> I need to fish? Never, Becky. Never. Any idea if the bars will come to the UK? So I, um, I asked, and I imagine for the short term, probably not to the UK and to Canada, but long term, I would imagine that is the, absolutely their plan. Uh, but right now, I think they're just trying to get in their growth phase, and especially like, distribution and stuff. I don't know, but I'll see. Maybe they'll respond about my question soon. I think I hear a cat. Either a kid that's making cat noises, or it's a cat. Maddie, what's going on? Katarina, what it do? How are you doing today? Is it Ashley making cat noises? Maybe it's Ashley outside the window making cat noises and trolling me. She knows I miss our cats. I just miss our animals in forever. <laughs> in forever? <laughs> Either a kid making cat noises or a cat making kid-like cat noises. Oh, we got Diana again. What? Get out of here, Diana. You're adorable, but you're not a chunk, so we can't keep you. Yeah, do you have a pet sitter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, um... Uh, we've got one of our friends uh, house sitting for us. It was very nice of them to uh, to do on such short notice. We're like, we're, <laughs> we're gonna, we want to leave tomorrow. Are you guys willing to uh, house sit for us? It's like I'll stock the fridge with beer and snacks. Just got a monster hug tag. See what you meant about destroying me to start off our monster hunter. Yes, Hannah. But then it'll all click at once and you'll just destroy everything. You had me at snacks. <laughs> I wanted to take the cats with us. But cats are traditionally not happy travelers. And it was the cats because, uh, they would fit. Like, I had, to, I fit two telescopes in the back, all of our, like, snacks, our cooler, uh, all of the luggage that we needed for, for a 10-day trip. Pet sitting is fun, that's what my business is. Nice. Hello. Chunky, chunky, chunk. You chunk, 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 chunk. Oh, it's the wrong kind of chunk. You are indeed chunky. You got a chunky badonk. And you've got chunky eyebrows. And a nice little shirt. Goose, what it do, boy? It's a feathery chunk. But it's the feathers that make the chunk, not the body. I'm not chunky, it's just my feathers. I like the shirt he's wearing. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. We got a jungle flooring. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, that's a big old fish right there. A pond stone. I think we got that already, yeah. Nice. Ashley's back. Hello, dearest.
You have chaos? what no she's like are you ready for some chaos get out of the room it's my stream now it's cold outside oh my god it's not i got like a draft oh the fish no long time lurker here hashtag lurker unite i started watching this summer oh chat come back chaos daddy returns um with my mom and we've been hooked ever since keep uh being your awesome self thank you audrey and tell tell your mom thank you as well hashtag lurkers unite all you lurkers out there those that i've never gotten to say hello to you wonderful humans thank you for coming to hang out with us each day i am also a lurker inside so um thank you he hasn't seen that i uh not wearing the pink anymore I'm gonna get yelled at. Maybe if we don't move, she won't see. Android, what's going on? How have you been? I hope you're doing well. Welcome back. Lurked for a while before posting, then I posted a lot. Becky has turned from lurker to... I had a better word for this and it slipped <laughs> to not lurker. Long time lurker. Jennifer, hello. Lurker since last year. Sure, what's do? What, what, what's do? What? What do? God. My brain. All is funny, and now my throat feels all funky. My lurking member, Latoya. What's going on? Hey, th there's nothing wrong with lurking. Just sitting, sitting back and vibing. Or maybe you're doing some some work or using me to fall asleep <laughs> also part-time lurker Courtney I'm a lurker because I never know what to say that's me oh my god <laughs> Wilbur take me out of here a dirty cow is what I got no it wasn't Norma the normal cow full-time lurker but decided today my introvert wanted to take a back seat nice it's nice every once in a while and then you do it and you're like oh my god i'm exhausted oh stephanie i'm glad lurking lurking as a me and leftover pizza from work mm. I'm hungry. i do have another verb bar that i could eat though but i feel like i might explode if i do that I also need to get Ashley's merch made. I'm curious what the, somebody made for the Sassy Lemons. I gotta pull up Discord. I can do that on my phone. It's so weird not having, like, three screens to be able to see stuff. Yeah, we said we were gonna make you your Chaos Daddy merch. <laughs> she wants to do <laughs> uh, merch with my name on it, but it's crossed out in, like, scribbly red, probably. Or pink with her name <laughs> replacing it. Oh my god. Good idea. Luna Lenore, thank you for becoming a member. Welcome back to the community. Chaos Daddy merch, yes. Hey, if somebody wants to make it, I'll give you some monies. Just I'll make it my word. Ten years later. Judy. Judy's back again. Honey, have you seen Judy? She's your favorite. She is kind of galaxy colored. Yes, but in scribbly pink. Exactly, Madam Butterfly. Exactly. If there's a sassy lemon merch, I need it all. I can't believe we got Judy again. Somebody in chat just said that, too. Take the ball of cotton candy. Open that bad boy. A wooden bookshelf. A wooden bookshelf. I don't think it's meant to be. And maybe. I'm a thumbnail artist now. I can do merch designs, too. Bunger. <laughs> I, I did see the edge now. 
Beautiful. If we get her a third time, then it's then we'll get her. That's the rule. If we see a villager we kind of want and we get it three times, it's meant to be. I'm here for the sassy lemon merch. <laughs> D and D, thank you for the sassy lemon. I guess Tia the elephant chonky. Yeah, elephants in general are pretty chonky. Why do you get the same villager again and again? It's just the game trolling you. I think is how is the thing. It's nice and sweatery. Thank you, honey. This reminds me of when I first started watching last year during the lockdown. Uh, now on our third. Thanks for keeping me sane. Oh my goodness, Jean. Stay safe. I wish you the best. Glad we can provide you with some daily entertainment. Tag my two-year-old said your name today. Oh yeah. Dragon Fairy, give your two-year-old the bestest of fist bumps. Chaos Daddy merch? I need. <laughs> Bradley, thank you for the super chat. RNG be a troll, yeah. RNG do be like that. Ooh, we got Money Rock Island again. And what'd we get? Oh my god. Somebody literally summoned Tia to our island. Wait, no, it's Dollar Store Tia. This isn't the actual Tia. This is Margie, Dollar Store Tia. Asmo will have to go actually work. So until next time, ah, Asmo, have a wonderful day. Nothing. She just looks like Tia, but she doesn't have the teeth up on her. So she's dollar store Tia. <laughs> Discount Tia. Great value Tia. <laughs> Poor Tia. Wait, did I... Did I break another shovel? <gasps> Why do I have three nets? But no shovels. Oh my god. Tim, you're in your third lockdown since November 2. Oh my goodness. Meanwhile, Texas is doing Texas things. Another reason why I'm like, maybe we should leave Texas. Yeah, it is kind of. Uh, Kit Kat, thank you for the sassy lemon. Thank you so much. Take Margie. She's a chonk. She is a chonk, Jalen. You're right. Is she the chonk? We've had Margie before, though. We already have an elephant. Have you driven through Almost Park by the quarry and seen the LARPers on a Sunday? Well, that's my group. <laughs> that's pretty sweet. Uh, I've never been to Almost Park. Is Almost Park here? San Antonio? Really? Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know there was a LARPing group in San Antonio. They have a Jedi temple in San Antonio, too? What? Uh, thanks for all the entertainment. Thank you. And the Laura, tag, do you think you'll move to Cali? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of factors that go into it. Been a life server. Also, please tell my daughter Cadence to do her homework. Cadence! You got to do your homework. We all know it's the worst, but it's also the rules, and we gotta follow them. Or we don't get fun times. But, so, there's a lot of issues that I have with California. Um, concerned about the school system and stuff like that, but it's possible. I like the idea of it because it's gonna put me closer to all the things that I want to do. Uh, to expand the channel into things beyond gaming, like the astrophotography or photography in general. Also for like meetups and like when COVID's finally over, like all the cons and stuff out here and meetups and um, anybody that I could do collaborations with. Also like this is like where all the telescope stuff in the world is too. It also gets me closer to being able to travel to other countries because uh, there's actually like a large hub here for that kind of stuff. So I don't know. It's a possibility. Oh, my bank account's full or my, my bank wallet thing is full.
The school systems in, in California are just atrociously bad, though. And then there we go. Put that in there. Stack the bells. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Too expensive. My cousin's moving from Cal. Yeah, then there's that. The, uh, the I mean, we, we talked about this in another stream the other day. Like, California's getting so bad, they're starting to, they want to tax people for leaving the state. Because there's so many people leaving because of the oppressive taxes. I'm from San Antonio. We moved to Idaho almost 20 years ago. The dark skies are amazing. Hoping to do some Milky Way this weekend. Oh, that's amazing. Veronica, definitely share them. Like, either share them on Twitter or in the Discord or anything like that. Mark Zoo Gang? Nice meme. Oh, no. Exit taxes? Yeah. Um, boink. There we go. Making a decent amount of money. We got uh we got to pay off them Tom Nook loans, you know. Also, you know what? We need to schedule our upgrade for our house. That's what we got to do. <laughs> you paid off the loan, but we didn't uh, schedule the upgrade, I don't think. You did? Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'm going to have to go see how big our loans are with Tom Nook then. Laura K, thank you for the sassy lemon. Oh my god, thank you so much. Sweet baby Jesus. Thank you. Dad joke incoming. What do you call a chonky psychic? A fortune teller. Oh my god. Hey T, thank you for the super chat. Oh my god. Hello. Why hello there? Feels like it should be illegal. Can we get a chaos daddy takeover? <gasps> Look at our baby. Ellie's just vibing to DJ Stringy Swag. Happy, my trip's going well. Thank you for asking. And Serenza, have a wonderful day. We've got Apple Naruto running over there. Oh man, it's a good stretch. Whew. So we gotta we gotta put some of this stuff in storage first and foremost. Our pockets are full of stuff. Creepy dolls. Yeah, Ashley put creepy dolls in my house. It's terrible. He told me to shut up. Look at this abuse. <laughs> I don't think we need all of these nets in here. At a verb bar today, super yummy. Also ordered a bag of the banana chocolate chip ones. That's what I am eating right now, Angie. That is exactly what I'm eating right now. Also, for anybody that's curious about the verb bars, um, we do have a link for 50% off in the description. They are a pretty great replacement for energy drinks. They've got as much caffeine as a shot of espresso. 
So if you have a coffee addiction or a um, energy drink addiction that you're looking to kick and looking for a healthier option that'll still give you some energy without any having any of the negative effects like getting the you know the the super up and then super down after uh having like an energy drink or something like that or that horrible feeling you get from energy drinks definitely check out the verb bars in the description the verbs are, are good our whole family likes them hell yeah anya that is awesome and we do have the 50 percent discount link in the description and then for anybody that wants to reorder uh their verb bars we do have a link for that for discounts uh in the description as well it was awesome of them to provide that for us Uh, deposit. We got a decent amount of money in here. We're doing good. Thank you, honey. She says, you're welcome. I'm here, Tom Nook. You dirty little crook, yo. Uh, let's talk about my home. Yeah, one expand. Sweet. Gotta get that basement. Gotta get that creepy basement going on. Arsenic, thank you for the sassy lemon. Thank you so much. Oh, hell yeah, Candy. Or Grimace. It's awesome. I think that was Ashley with all the nets. Did he just say we can't expand it? What just happened? I didn't read what happened. I want to try verb bars, but I love the coffee too much. <laughs> it's expanded. We did do it. Oh my god. I like went through some kind of like temporal anomaly. My husband took all my verb bars to work, so I had to order more. <laughs> thief. <laughs> that klepto thief. Oh my god. I think there is a pending expansion. Oh, is there? It's freaking excuse me. Oh my god. Honey. I'm here. No. Burn it with fire. I hate you all. Each and every one of you. In the most loving way possible, I hate you. I forgot about this one. Oh my god. When did she put it there? That's what I want to know, because we were looking on the island for, like, hours the other day. A wild log bench? Teach me. Tag at the beginning. You're all my family tag now. I hate all of you. That's family, right? Oh, thanks, man. It only took five years. <laughs> oh, my God. What's the difference between a tame log, tame log bench? I have no idea. <laughs> hey, Anna. I hope you're doing well. Sandy, what's going on? How have you been? Never underestimate Chaos Daddy and her Chaos Babies. <laughs> Y'all are evil. Pure evil. In the bestest of ways. Chrissy S., thank you for becoming a member. Welcome to the community. Ooh, we gotta get our Nook Miles. I've not been claiming these each day. Which I need to make sure we do. We also need to make sure we get to uh, three stars.
I need to go pick up like a mouse. Oh my god, we have so many things to claim. This is awesome. We probably shouldn't do that all right now though. It might take a hot minute. We got raised well by Chaos Daddy. <laughs> We need our Chaos Daddy fix. Chaos Daddy went to the store to get milk and never came back. <laughs> Jajina, thank you for the super chat. And Cynthia getting kittens in six weeks. Ooh, nice. Have I added my passport yet? I haven't. D&D, &D, oh my god. I've been trying for years to get them stupid blue roses. Any know, anybody know what to do? I'm in desperate need of info. D&D, uh, &D, in my Discord, the Tagback TV Discord, the open one, which should be in the de uh, in the description. If it's not, it's I'm going to put it in the chat now. Yeah. Uh, www. What is the... Isn't it just gg.discord? Hashtag back TV. I think that works. Um, I think that should work. But yeah, I have uh, information in the Discord on exactly how to set up the perfect flower breeding area to get blue roses. Like, this is all data mined information. Oh, yes. Huh. <laughs> I'm trying to eat my verb bar, don't mind me. <laughs> oh, the energy. <gasps> oh, no. No. Wilbur, no. 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 Oh, no. The bane of our existence. But once you get one blue rose, you can quickly get more, which is nice. Well, Subconsciously, you knew to run. Exactly. That explains why I was trying to leave the island right away. Alright, so what time is it right now? It is 1.19, which means it's... What time is it here? <laughs> 11.20. I've got to do the podcast with Dustin at 11... at 1.30. I've got to edit the Astro video that we did of our travel vlog video. Oh my god, so much to do today. Did you sneak a super chat by me? Oh my god, Bree, you might have. Hold on. I only have one screen to do all this, so I'm... If I do miss a super chat, which I try to never do, I apologize. Basically, Tina, thank you for the super chat. Bree Bear, you did! Headed to Disney! Hope you have a great day! Oh my god. Bree, I'm jelly. I've never been. Also, I messed up this, too. And, uh, D&D, &D, thank you again. Oh my goodness. I always feel so bad when I mess a super chat. And, Decky, yeah, YouTube likes to break super chats where where they won't... Like, if you, tr if you go to buy one, sometimes what happens is it doesn't actually go through. Super frustrating. Like, sometimes they break them. I don't know why. But it usually throws an error. I missed your super chat too, Zaya? No, I didn't. No way. I broke down and bought verb bars. Oh my god, faithfully soaring. I hope you enjoy them. I hope they help out. We got Tajina, Chrissy. <laughs> I know I got Zaya's because I remember reading. Unless you sent more than two. <laughs> Let's scroll through and double check. I'm sick in bed with allergies. Nope, Decky, there's yours. 
Thank you for making my suffering a little bit more bearable with delightful humor. Also, tell Ashley hello. Well, hello, Decky. And KT, thank you for the... Ashley said hello. And Decky, I hope you feel better. Me and Ashley have been struggling with the allergies, too. Especially for some reason down here. Back to work and lurk. Hopefully nothing expired in the Asian snack box when you get home. Oh, I did miss it. How did that happen? And dragon fruits. Uh, tag is back and I woke up to my first lily of the valley. Sign of a great day. And, uh, wow, how did I miss these? And Veronica, I'm from San Antonio. We moved to Idaho almost 20 years ago. The dark skies here are amazing. All right, so yeah, YouTube is not putting all of them in chat for me. But I don't have another screen to put this one up in chat. You know, I'm going to have to go buy, like, a small little screen that I can use for this. I thought about that, but I don't have another plug. I need to go buy an extension cord. Have a safe trip, everyone, and enjoy yourselves. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate that. Uh, Dannerkins. Also, how have you been? Hope you've been well. So right now, usually what I have is I have my other screen with the, uh, with the YouTube backend up. So that way, if the chats don't show up in the chat, they'll show up on that screen. Look at this bun bun. I've never seen this bun bun before. How many switches did you bring? It can play YouTube. I did bring two switches. You know, that's a good idea as well. Uh, but the, the thing is, I need to be in my YouTube studio uh, to be able to see the chats that don't show up in chat. Oh, hair. Look at them lips. Oh, my God. You're a creepy little bun. I kind of like him, though. Look at his little hat. He's not chonky, though, but I kind of really, really like him. Can't you use the iPad now? So there's only one section uh, in the YouTube like studio where the super chats won't break, like if chat breaks, and you can only access that on the computer. <laughs> That's the only thing that saved me last year when we we're having those the chat breakdown all the time. I just got so used to using it. Shake, 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 shake. Shake your trees. Hopefully don't get no bees. You can get a chunk free pass. <laughs> yes. Ooh, a double sofa. Nice. Hey, Will. How have you been? I had Nate and his giant unibrow for months. Oh my god. I'm from Palm Springs. They have some good schools and great anti-light pollution ordinances. Nice. Very nice, Candace. That is awesome. Yeah, we were we're looking at some land that's going for really cheap up here. Um to not only do telescopes, but um maybe even a lot of telescope stuff. I, I would really like to set up like an observatory that we can all actually like control and help get people into astrophotography and stuff. So I really want to set up an observatory and it's in because of the because it's near the Palomar Observatory. And it's all under a light pollution ordinance so people really can't build there, but we can build other things there, which is super cool. Um and that means that the light pollution cuz what I'm worried about also is like at some point in time Within our lifetimes, there is going to be so few locations where you can actually see the night sky. Like within our lifetime, like 80% uh, of the areas that you can get to are going to be full of light pollution where you won't even be able to see the Milky Way again. And um, that's part of the reason why I just want to start traveling and stuff now and taking these photos of the stuff before I, I won't be able to see them again. Uh, Stephanie, sending chonky vibes? Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you very much. Uh, Glitterbeard uh, and hashtag Chaos Daddy Takeover. <laughs> I think they're getting ready to go swim while I'm streaming and editing. And Candace, I'm from Palm Springs. They have uh, some good schools and great anti-late pollution ordinances. Yeah, so Palm Springs is right near uh, where we were last night. That's why Iceland is so amazing. They have giant areas without even houses or streetlights so you can see the northern lights. That is amazing. One day I want to go to Iceland. Ooh, we got bamboo chat. Bamboo chat? <laughs> bamboo island. 
Bamboo chat. Oh my god. Son of a beached whale. Are you worried about Starlink ruining Astro? So, Cody, uh, there is some major issues with Starlink, but the thing is, um, there's only an issue for like the first seven days that they're launched. I think it's about seven days where they're low enough in orbit where they'll show up. Uh, so, when they do launch like a new batch of satellites, then it, yeah, it's going to ruin astrophotography. Uh, but once they get into their operating orbit, you won't ever see them. Uh, so that's not a major issue, but it's a major issue once they launch, when they launch them. Uh, but hopefully, as long as they maintain that, that orbit at distance that won't show up in your photos, uh, it's not so bad. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, there's definitely some major potential there for that. I mean, in, in general, our, our sky is getting ruined even at night. Okay. You're okay. And then, uh, Maddie, uh, hello YouTube, fix my super jets. Hopefully this goes through after trying five times. Oh my God, Maddie, you asked, I provided potential chaos merch in the discord. Ooh, Maddie. Ooh. I'm going to look that up. Is I'm, I'm assuming it's in the merch section. I'm going to have to pull those up. I don't have Discord on this ta on this uh, computer yet. Yeah, I've got my phone charged, and I'll look them up after this. A uh, friend left cats with me when she went on vacation. Can't get her kittens out of the guest room without attacking us. Not fixed. Super scary. Any suggestions? Oh my god. Cynthia. She's most likely just terrified. <gasps> I see a bun bun. Um, my tip would be, especially if it's a kitten, get some really like tasty, good smelling food. And um, put it out near the door. Or near where you want to be able to grab her. Um, and then the first time, just let her eat the food. So don't, don't like try and pick her up. Don't spook her or anything like that. And then the second time she should come up to you and eat. Um, and then even then just let her, uh, let her eat from the food while you're sitting next to her. And then if you want to be super patient, do it a third time. The third time should be fine. Uh, the next mid autumn festival is September 21st. Expect some moon cake being sent to you in June or August. In the name of Chonktopia equals make tag chonky. <laughs> make tag chonky. <laughs> I'm not fat. I'm just chonky. I actually want to name uh, the new car chonky with an E H. Eh. Zaya, thank you so much. Thank you. That's the bun bun from KK Bubblegum, which means I cannot take her. I respectfully decline. Maddie, the merch is perfect. Oh my god, now I need to see it. I need to see it so bad. Hey, Alicia. Now on my way home listening to the stream. Nice. Oh, nice, Jalen. And Deborah D, thank you so much for becoming a gold tier member. Welcome to the community. All right, so it is uh actually time for us to to take a break here. Because I want to make sure I can get that photo edited or that, that video edited and released for y'all this afternoon. And uh, I gotta take a look at these merch ideas that y'all have been posting in Discord. I'm gonna take a look at them after the stream here because I got it on my phone. Um but thank you all for hanging out with me. I'll try and get, as we get settled in here, because we'll be here for like four more days. Um, hopefully things will smooth out with the, the streams and we'll start streaming at our afternoon time as well. Uh, but definitely keep an eye out for the new Astro video of our road trip tonight. I'd appreciate any support on that. Because y'all are amazing. But I do hope you all have a wonderful day. A great week, great weekend. I'll see you all in the next one.